All right, guys, it is travel day. My headphones! My headphones! We're going to London. Guys, we are headed off to London for two days where we are going to get to see uh, uh, Royal Palace, Big Ben, uh, London, Eye. London Eye, Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge so many cool things to see so we are super stoked for this trip we are going to stay there for two nights like i mentioned then heading down to uh, southampton and then from southampton we are going to do a cruise over to norway with three stops along the way and then stopping in belgium on the way back and then heading back to london and then flying back home to massachusetts so going to be a long 10 days but we are excited to bring you guys along all right so we are ready to take off uh, we had our airport transfer scheduled with yes we van out of new bedford uh, and they were fantastic uh, they loaded all our luggage in a big van headed off to boston uh, we did self-check and printed our luggage tags and boarding tickets there's a little bit of a line we were a few hours early so we had time for a nice sit down dinner so we opted for Italian at Luca's. Uh, we kept it light with paninis and the boys shared uh, pasta and butter plate. We are flying American. This is a big plane. It is through 777, three seats, four seats, three seats. So myself, Ashley and Paxton are over here. And then Ashley's parents are here with Nolan and Camden. And uh, a little tight for leg room but uh, we got some TVs so we should be good. Alright it is about 9 30 p.m. and dinner is served. We had the choice of uh, beef with rice or pasta. I went with the beef. I actually went with the pasta. Also got some sort of uh, salad. We got bread, with butter, uh, cinnamon bar, Swiss cheese, crackers to go with the cheese, and olive oil to go with the uh, salad. Did come with complimentary drink. I opted for the white wine and uh, just taking in the flight. Not too bad. It's going pretty quick night time out now so hopefully Pax can get some shut eye soon okay another complimentary drink got a beer <clears throat> I think it's about time for bed Pax is sleeping Ashley's is pretty close and they are dimming the lights so it's about 10 o'clock now we will see you tomorrow good morning we have made it to Heathrow Airport we just took a bus similar to the one you just saw and we are headed to get our luggage uh, it was a very quick flight and uh, we are so excited to be here all right guys we made it to the park plaza county hall hotel we uh it was over an hour drive much further away from the airport than i thought uh, ashley did it uh request early check-in she's at the desk now so hopefully the room is ready so we can offload these bags and change it's a little chilly it's about 58 60 degrees right now all right the room tour has been recorded uh we packed a special bag just for clothes for london so everyone's clothes was packed separate that way we don't have to open up all the suitcases just want to show that view. Got London Eye, got Big Ben over there. Pretty good view. A travel planner hooked us up. All right, it's a very light drizzle, so we're gonna pop into this Polish uh, restaurant called Mamushka. Literally right next door to the uh, hotel. And Ashley is Polish, so. Hopefully the kids actually have uh, some items that they'll like. But it is 12.10 and I need a beer. And there was nothing on the menu that the kids would eat. So 
let's come over here and get some pizza for the kids. Anywhere? Boy, we got a cool, uh, yeah, I don't know. We've got a cool uh, sports vibe here. This place looks awesome. Looks like it's uh, 76ers uh, Philadelphia theme. Sure. This is awesome. Hundred dollar bills on the walls. All right, this menu looks fantastic. Of course, we find the most American restaurant in London. Um, it's called the American Dive Bar. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to waste your time looking at the menu. Wings, your typical pub food, uh, cheese steaks, like Philly cheese steaks with like the cheese whiz. Hoagies, specialty sandwiches, salads, hot dogs, U.S. classics, kid options. Uh, yeah, grab the local IPA. Just want to get some food in their bellies as fast as possible, especially since it's raining. Or like we might as well sit and feed them, and then we can explore. We got the boys some good old-fashioned burgers. They're slowly waking up. Paxton has been sleeping for about two hours now, so we're going to be in big trouble. So one of the other really cool things um, outside our hotel, so they have this really cute um, dining area outside, but it's also the um, hop on, hop off bus, um, one of the stops. So. We have really easy access to it. Um, so that was one of the reasons why I picked it as well, because I didn't really want to be walking around too much trying to find it. That's our plan for tomorrow. Um, just take it for a ride and kind of see what we find around the city. Look how cute their little taxis are. We had reservations for seven or seven thirty. Oh, it's huge! Like Disney World, huge. Um, it a reservation for seven or seven thirty. Well, I initially booked it for seven forty-five to try to catch the sunset, but clearly there's going to be no sunset tonight, so it's really not even worth it trying to keep them up that late. And the kids are exhausted, and Paxton is still sleeping. This is going to not work out very well for us later, so might as well bump it up. So we changed it to. 4, 4.15. Yeah. And uh, we're going to go do some sightseeing. We're going to go check out Big Ben. And then we'll loop back around. Look at this line. I've seen shorter wait times at Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Alright, walking from the London Eye. Uh, to the bridge and of course they saw a carousel and just had to hop on. So, uh, nice little spa. Looking to do some sightseeing. He's right here with me. Actually, anything specific you're looking to see now or today before the? Um, I just want to like wander down and then maybe do like an Uber boat back. That'd be fun. Uber boat. To Borough Market. Borough Market or Camden Market? How cool is this? We are under a bridge. You got hot dogs over here. You got a bar over there. Most uh, spaces under bridges in the United States is filled with uh, homeless people. And they've utilized this space for food and beer. Guys, check out this skate park. It's so cool. I know Camden. 
he is going to become obsessed with skating as soon as he sees this. Gabriel's Wharf looks cool. They got all these little pop-up, like I'm at Epcot. Tons of food uh, choices. Guys, look at this. This is like, what a nice design for this place. So cool. Anchor. out for a sticker and a license plate that you like that one yes. how much is it seven pounds, seven pounds? okay lights are doing some weird flickering thing Stop, no. I'm a police. All right, Cam got a Manchester City soccer ball. Nolan got a London license plate, and we got a fruit twist Fanta. It's a weird color, almost looks like a. It smells really good. It is good. How is it? I like it. It's yeah. like kind of grapefruity, kind of orangey. Look at this pirate ship. How cool is this? Southwark Cathedral. HMS at Belfast here. You can tour. Pretty cool. We're so close to the uh, bridge we've been walking towards. Almost there. Nine decks to explore. So cool.
headed towards uh, the London Eye, back to where we came. I'm not even sure how much we paid. Give me a ticket and you give it to her. So, 22.80 pounds, uh, 11.40 a pound. So, not bad. Hey, four o'clock, we just made our reservation time. was a 45 minute wait and uh, we could purchase gas pass. Um, I don't know. And we had a uh, fast pass so we paid an additional 15 pounds per person to uh, skip the line which is a 15 minute wait. So instead of waiting 45 minutes we are waiting 15. Uh, still pretty intense line, but it is what it is. We are able to bring the stroller on board, which is, uh, which is great. Alright, we're getting ready to board. We're just gonna run right on. Kind of like the Skyliner at Disney. Quite a few people. We got everyone running on. Just to help other guests get on. This is totally normal. Unfortunately, that one burned down during the Great Fire of London in 1666. The one you see today was designed by one of England's most famous architects in history, Sir Christopher Wren, and completed in 1710. And we are right at the top. So cool. What an awesome experience. Thanks, Ashley. With the sky guard on top. Tax is opening on the glass. So cool, the views up here are just incredible. Yeah. Alright, that was a four hour loop that we just did. I feel like we got a lot accomplished in that time. I'm gonna head back to the room to freshen up. Let the kids veg out for a few minutes and then I think we're gonna grab dinner at the restaurant in the hotel. We are gonna call it an early night because we are exhausted. And uh Yeah, back at it tomorrow. Full day. Actually, what do we have on the docket tomorrow? We do like a hop on, hop off and see what we want to do. I don't really have a game plan for tomorrow. Cool. Alright, let's head back to the room. Alright, we went back to the room to freshen up and we're heading back out for dinner. Ashley and I are starving. Starving. It is 6 p.m. Uh, London time. Pretty good. And 1 p.m. at home, so just trying to keep them got a truck eight. through it. Yeah, maybe nine, nine, nine thirty, ten. Like I'm gonna be editing some videos tonight, so I'll be up for a while. But gotta find something to eat. Stop. All right, we are leaving the hotel. We heard there was some good fish and chips 
uh, nine minute walk down uh, Leak Street. Uh, so I think we're heading that way now. Architecture here is just beautiful. I think we made it. We've got a ton of restaurants. We've got Camel and Artichoke. Um, oh, quite a bit of options down this way. So excited to see what they have. I could go for some fish and chips. I could go for some bangers and mash. I don't know. We'll see where the day takes us. We've got some pizza. Cubano. Walked by an Asian place before. Nice. Uh, we are at the signature G&T and we are hungry. Um, I think I'm gonna get the short rib Guinness pie. There's a toss up between that and the butler's bangers. Um, yeah, everything looks really good. Do see hummus on the menu, so just want to make sure that's safe for uh, Camden um, with whatever we order. I think we're getting them fish and chips. Yeah, it's uh, really hopping outside, really busy. We we're able to get a table right away, though. Definitely a hopping spot. Yeah, Sorry definitely. Alright guys, so we came to the Duke of Sussex and like we said before, it's definitely a hop-in place. Nolan fell asleep at the dinner table. Phone in hand, asleep at the dinner table. Um, but unfortunately, they said they don't feel comfortable with Camden eating anything off the menu because they have such a high risk for cross-contamination to hummus and um, chickpeas. So thankfully Camden just had a ton of snacks in the room and he finished leftover his from leftovers lunch. from lunch. Um, when we get back in the room, we'll make him some macaroni and cheese before he goes to bed. Uh, I packed a whole bunch with me just in case for issues like this. So yeah, my poor little guy, he is not gonna be able to to join us in eating dinner here tonight. We're just looking forward to getting on the cruise because we know that they can accommodate him safely every night and we can all eat to din uh, dinner together as a family. It's definitely tough trying to navigate food allergies in a foreign country. Um, but thankfully he does not seem to mind. All right, dinner is served. I got my Guinness pie. I actually got our fish and chips. Really good. Everyone else got fish and chips. Nolan is sleeping. And Paxton had his dinner already, so service was a little slow, but it's really, really busy in here tonight. Um, but hopefully the food's good. So this is the outside, very lively. Ton of people. Everyone having uh, drinks and. Looks like a nice hangout spot outside of, uh, In my pocket, you know, you're welcome. out from work and people just come after work and call locals and stuff. Not Great right spot. now, but tomorrow we'll Food find a fantastic. park and you can play. Uh, we're going to pop into Iceland real quick for uh, some milk for like Paxton, maybe a bottle of water or something. Let's head on in. No can. Exactly. I'm back at the hotel. We we'll grabbed a uh, six pack of waters, grabbed a four pack of beers, and we grabbed a bottle of champagne uh, for Off these cars. the uh, sail away party on the cruise ship. Uh, ports in Europe, you are allowed to bring one bottle of alcohol per adult. So uh, we grabbed a bottle of champagne. A little celebration. And, oh, this uh, picture's so cute. Also, uh, my father in law, yeah, Stanley, low key, cute. was really sad and disappointed we did not come here for dinner. He was, he says he's definitely coming here tomorrow. He doesn't care if we come with him or not. He's Polish and he was really looking forward to it. 
he had lunch there today, but didn't get enough. Does anyone else match their pajamas to their destination? No, just me. Uh, Capri, I wear my lemon pajamas. And London, I picked these up. I've been waiting a long time to wear these. Look, they're so cute. I have the Tower Bridge on there. And I have the Double Decker Buses. Big and I got ben. Big Ben. Phone booth. I have the phone booth. I love these so much. And I've been waiting like forever to wear them in London. And I'm just so happy right now going to bed with a huge smile on our faces tonight. Um, so if you followed along on our adventures today, thank you so much for watching. Um, we are just kind of taking it slow and exploring London with three kids in tow and just being so, so tired and so jet lagged today. So hopefully tomorrow we'll have a little bit more excitement for you guys in our day. Um, we're not even sure what we're going to get into tomorrow. We're just going to kind of explore. Um, but again, yes, thank you for watching. We're so excited to be here in London and we're so excited for the rest of our adventure this week. Thanks for watching and safe travels.